What's up guys, welcome back to Cast Cooking. Today we're gonna do a two and a half pound ribeye tomahawk steak. We're gonna reverse sear it, it's gonna be awesome. Let's get into it. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, this is a ribeye steak, but they call it a tomahawk because they leave the bone extended out like so. Some people call them cowboy steaks. Normally when I get a tomahawk, the bone is much longer. It's a ribeye with a handle, basically. It's a delicious piece of meat, and I can't wait to eat this thing after we reverse sear it. So first things first, two equal parts, kosher salt, ground black pepper, um, and then we threw in a little bit of garlic powder in there. So we'll just give that a little mix, and then we're just gonna hit this on both sides. Don't forget to do the sides. So this is basically SPG. SPG, the choice for me. All you really need with beef is, you know, coarse ground salt and coarse ground black pepper. It's really all you need. If you want to get fancy with your rubs, you can play with the ingredients. Totally fine. But for this tomahawk, we're just going to go in SPG. You don't really need to do any trimming to it. It's pretty much ready to go right as your butcher prepares it. You just call him up, say, hey, I need a tomahawk steak. He's like, I got you, fam. Go pick it up, and it's good to go. All right, now that we got that rubbed up, we're going to cover it in foil. It's pretty cold out here today, so I'm just going to set it aside and let it bind, let the... Uh, let the rub bind to the meat while it sits outside and we'll get the smoker going. All right guys, now with the smoker up to temperature, we're gonna cook at 250 degrees until we reach an internal temperature of 128 degrees. Then we're gonna pull it off and we're gonna sear it on both sides, probably for two minutes a side. Then we're gonna let it rest. It should be good to go. So with our smoker up to temp, I'm gonna spray the grates here with some canola oil. That way we don't get any sticking. Uncover this bad boy. And we're gonna take our probe here, and you wanna go about right here, right in the center. Get it to where you want it, and then put your fingers where it's gonna stop. Just go ahead and insert your probe, just like that. We're just gonna set it right on the grates, just how you want it to cook. Right there in the center, get this plugged into our ink bird. This is a six probe ink bird. I love this thing. It's got a Bluetooth connection to your phone with an app. You can sit inside and have a beer or whatever you want to do. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. So now that we got that on there, we're going to shut our lid. Maintain a temperature of 250 degrees until an internal temperature of 128 degrees is achieved. And then we'll sear it on both sides. We're about an hour in, 20 more degrees to go. I would say in another half an hour to 40 minutes we'll be at that 128 where we want to be. Then we'll get it off and we're going to sear it on the Weber 22 inch kettle. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We appreciate it. Go ahead and check out our merch store at teespring.com slash store slash cast cooking. It supports the channel, supports what I do. Thank you again for watching. All right, we've been maintaining a good 245 to 255 for about an hour and 10 minutes now. We have an internal temperature of 115 degrees. So what I'm going to do is let this keep going. I'm going to get my Weber chimney fired up with some more lump hardwood charcoal and get that nice and hot. We're going to get ready to sear. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we just got this thing out the smoker. We've reached our internal temperature. Double check with the quick read here. 126 there. Oh, that's really tender, and that's 130 over there. Right here, we're about 129, 130. Look how good that thing looks, man. Nice, very, very good color to it. Smells amazing. All right, so we're just going to throw it on our kettle here. Get the lid on. Make sure our vents are wide open. I'm just gonna let that sear for a couple minutes and then we're gonna flip it over, do the same thing to that side. We'll be back in two minutes. Kinda see what's going on, all right? About to flip it, here we go. All right, we've seared it on both sides for two minutes per side. We're gonna take it off now. Get it on our cutting board here. Man, this thing smells amazing, man. You got, I wish we had smell the vision You guys gotta smell this. Look at that, man. 
So now we're gonna tent this in foil. We're gonna let it rest for maybe 15, 20 minutes. Let the juices just reabsorb into the muscles. And then we're gonna slice into it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I can't wait to eat this thing. I'm telling you that much right now. All right, you guys, we've been rested about 15, 20 minutes. As you can tell, there's a lot of juice coming out of this here. Let's see right by, look at that thing, man. Look how good and juicy that looks. So we're gonna get this off the bone here. All right, just get the bone right off of there. Still steaming a little bit. I'm gonna take, uh, take this end off. Look at that, man. You even got a little smoke ring going on right there. Look at that. I'd say that's a nice pink in there. It is super tender. Look at that. That's a really good medium rare right there, I'd say. Very nice. Let's get a taste of this. Here we go. I could eat this whole thing right now. Oh my goodness. Juicy, flavorful. That hickory wood really did a number on this. That salt, pepper, garlic, on point. There's nothing better than a, a bone-in ribeye. And tomahawk steaks are probably my favorite steak to cook. It's so delicious. You guys gotta give this a shot. Reverse sear is my favorite method. You can do it in the oven if you don't have a smoker. I mean, we, we all like that good char, that charcoal, that wood flavor, right? But if you don't have a grill or a smoker or anything, you can do this in the oven. You can do it in the oven until your internal temperature is reached, and then you can use your cast iron skillet or even a pan. Spray it down with some butter or some, some cooking spray and just sear it that way. Really good. Thank you guys again for watching. I'm gonna eat now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our merch down below, teespring.com slash store slash cast cooking. All proceeds support the channel. I appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you in the next cook.